Hello, my trouble fools, and just like that, we're back with another episode of that award-winning, action-packed, maybe, show, The Fitted Hat Fool. It's award-winning, because I say it is. Who knows whether it's won any awards or not, but, you know, they got those J.D. Power and Associates Awards, and I'm quite convinced they're, you know, pretty much bullshit, so. Anyway, now that I got that out of the way, let's get down to the hat on the top of my head. This hat is a Philadelphia Athletics hat. Now, as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, that's the only proper Athletics hat there is. Any other Athletics hat, like the Kansas City Athletics or the Oakland Athletics, is a bullshit hat. And as far as I'm concerned, the Oakland Athletics have bullshit fans. Um, anytime I'm watching the Yankees play the A's on TV, uh, their fans are screwing around with their phones, fucking around with their hair. They're doing all sorts of dumb shit. Everything but watching the game. So now that I got that out of the way, let's get down to the hat on my head. And as always, the bonus look at my bald head. Now, as you can see on the front of the hat, there's a, it's white, there's a blue A with a blue bill. And it's white all the way around. There's the Batterman logo back there. And over here you have the patch that says 1929 World Series. And there's the elephant with the uh, the rug with the A on it uh, there. And underneath it says Cooperstown Collection, seven and five eighths, 5950, you got all this good stuff. So uh, there you go. Now, if that wasn't enough fun, not only is this a Philadelphia Athletics hat, I bought it in Philadelphia. I was going on a flight and I had some time to pass at the airport, so I thought, hey, they got a lid, so let me go in there and look at hats. So they had a Philadelphia Athletics hat, and it was in my size, so I thought, why not? So I bought it, and now it's on top of my head. Uh, and my grandfather was a Philadelphia Athletics fan. Now once upon a time, when the Athletics were in Philadelphia, they played in North Philadelphia. Uh, North Philadelphia is where my grandfather graduated uh, high school. And um, 1929, that's the year my grandmother was born on my mother's side. My grandfather, that was an ace fan, was on my uh, father's side. Uh, then when the athletics moved to Kansas City, he became a Phillies fan. Um, he actually had tickets to that 1964 World Series the Phillies never got to. The one where all they had to do was win one game and they made it to the World Series, uh, but they never won that game. Uh, he had tickets to that. Um, I don't know what ever happened to those tickets. This happened before I was born, but I wish I'd... Uh, it'd be fun to have one of those, like a collectible. I'm sure some people running around Philadelphia got these, you know, 1964 World Series tickets uh, for the World Series that the Phillies never went to. Um, but uh, nobody I know personally has one, but my grandfather did have one. I think I had him and my... Uh, one of my uncles were going to go to the World Series, so I guess he had two tickets to it, I don't know. Uh, but of course, the Phillies kept on losing, the Cardinals kept on winning, and then they went to the World Series to beat the Yankees, which is not, not a good uh, outcome for me, as I'm a Yankees fan. But, you know, you can't win the World Series every year. It'd be nice if they did, uh, but they haven't. So what are you going to do? But, uh, you know, every now and then I see stuff online about let's bring the athletics back home to Philadelphia. Yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, why not? Cleveland got the Browns back. Winnipeg got the Jets back. Um, why not the athletics go back to Philadelphia? And I figure where the athletic stadium used to be, it's now a church. Now, there's a lot of churches. I'm sure there's a lot more churches than there are baseball stadiums. So why don't we tear down that fucking church and put up a ballpark? Or put the ballpark back? Call it Connie Mack Stadium. Build it just like it was. You know, I mean, even in one, you could even put up that uh, spite wall they had to keep people from uh, going up on the roof across the street and all that good stuff. Uh, you know, will this happen? I don't know. But I mean, as I said, there's a lot of churches. Churches don't pay tax. They're not really bringing in much revenue. 
the ballpark will bring in revenue and, and, and stuff for the city. So that's that's more handy than a church as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if I got a choice of going to the ballpark or going to the church, uh, I'm going to go to the ballpark. In fact, the last time I went to the, uh, a baseball game was on a Sunday. So I wasn't at church, but I was at a baseball game. I stopped and got a cheesesteak at the uh, Reading Terminal Market there in Carmen's, and then I uh, got on the Broad Street subway, moved out to South Philadelphia. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm watching the Phillies and the Pirates. Um, in fact, I was wearing a Pirates hat. Years ago, my Uncle Bob said, if you go to a, a ballpark wearing a hat of another team, in Philadelphia, you're going to get your ass kicked. Well, I wore a Pirates hat. Nobody did anything. I went to another Phillies game with a Yankees hat on. Nobody did anything. One time I had a White Sox hat on in a different Phillies game. Uh, these were old way back in the day at the vet. Nobody did anything. And that's nice. You wear what you want. You pay your ticket, park your ass in the seat, and you wear what you want. And I felt like wearing a Pirates hat. Why not? Uh, you know, hey, I paid for it. I'll wear it. Let me look at the time again so I don't miss that bus. I hate missing buses. Hey, I got 20 minutes yet. Plus, if I miss the bus, then I gotta sit in this fucking shopping center in an hour. And, um, <clears throat> I've already accomplished everything I can here, so, uh, you know, there's nothing to do here for an hour. So, uh, you know, let's take one more look at the hat, shall we? Alright, let's do that. Alright, so there's the A on the front, and there's the blue bill, white all the way around. There's the Batterman logo, and there's the uh, 1929 World Series patch on the side. Uh, now this patch actually came with the hat. Sometimes I buy hats and then I buy patches later and then I sew them my well, I don't sew them. And my wife sews them onto the side of the hat. But uh, this patch actually was on the hat. So I didn't have to have it uh, sewed on later. It was already there. So, uh, and I bought this at the Philadelphia International Airport. Uh, I want to say the abbreviation for that is, uh, I, you know, I should know that, being from the area. PHI maybe, I don't know. I just know I get on the airport train in Center City, and then a half hour later I'm at the airport. Except, zoop, zap, zoop. That's convenient. You know, uh, yeah, like in the summers when I go visit my father, my mother would always drive me to the airport. I'm like, just let me take the train to Philly, then I'll switch to the airport train and get myself there. You don't gotta bother driving from South Jersey all the way out to South Philadelphia. But I don't know, she wouldn't have any, any of that, but you know what? It's her gas money, what do I care? It wasn't coming out of my pocket. I guess I might have cared if it was coming out of my pocket, but uh, it wasn't, so I don't. So on that note, uh, thanks for watching. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, and your loved ones to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, The Fitted Hat Fool, where I'm the fool, all the hats are fitted, and also click that notification bell. So then you'll, you'll get home and you'll go, oh, another notification, the fool has uploaded another video. Who's the fool? Here he is, the Fitted Hat Fool. Thanks for watching, tell your friends, your enemies, and your loved ones. Hey, and if you're walking around, just go up to somebody randomly and say, Hey, why don't you watch The Fitted Hat Fool on YouTube? Actually, don't do that, because it drives me nuts when people come up to me randomly when I'm having lunch and say stupid shit. And that happened three times yesterday, and I got pissed the fuck off. And, and so, uh, maybe don't do that. Uh, but, uh, if you do it, it's not my goddamn fault.